The Cursed Doll, a true story of paranormal activity, in a small, quaint town nestled in the hills, there was an old antique shop known for its rare and unusual items. One particular item stood out among the rest, a vintage porcelain doll with piercing blue eyes and an eerie, lifelike appearance. The doll had a mysterious aura, and the locals whispered that it was cursed. One day, a young woman named Emily entered the shop, looking for a unique gift for her niece. She was immediately drawn to the doll, despite the shop owner's warnings about its sinister history. Ignoring his advice, she purchased the doll and took it home, unaware of the terror that awaited her. The first night, that night, Emily placed the doll on a shelf in her living room. As she slept, strange things began to happen. She heard faint, eerie whispers and soft footsteps echoing through the house. When she went to check, she found the doll had moved to the center of the room, its eyes seemingly staring right at her. The haunting begins, the following days were filled with inexplicable events. Objects moved on their own, doors slammed shut, and Emily could feel a cold presence watching her. One evening, as she was cooking dinner, she glanced up to see the doll standing on the kitchen counter, its expression more sinister than ever. The paranormal expert, desperate for help, Emily contacted a renowned paranormal expert, Dr. Harris. He agreed to investigate the doll and arrived at Emily's house with his equipment. As he conducted his examination, the room grew colder, and the doll's eyes seemed to glow with an otherworldly light. The doll's origin, Dr. Harris discovered that the doll was once owned by a little girl who died tragically. Her spirit, filled with anger and sorrow, had attached itself to the doll. To free the spirit, Dr. Harris suggested a ritual that involved returning the doll to the place where the girl had died. The ritual, Emily and Dr. Harris traveled to the abandoned house where the little girl had lived and died. As they performed the ritual, the air grew thick with a palpable energy. The doll's eyes glowed one last time before the spirit was released, and the doll crumbled to dust. The aftermath, with the doll's destruction, the paranormal activity ceased. Emily finally felt at peace, knowing the spirit was free. Dr. Harris warned her that while this ordeal was over, the world was full of such cursed objects, waiting for someone unsuspecting to release their dark secrets.